Hi, Jason. Surprise. Hey, guys, come on in. Let's get out of that rain. Hi, my name's Corrado, and this is my daughter, Jordan, and we're from Calgary. I've been going to reptile camp since I was eight, and I just love reptiles. I've learned a lot, and I wanted one ever since I started. They just seem really cool to me. I heard you guys did quite a bit of research before. It wasn't just an impulse buy, which is great to no. see. Jordan actually had to do a presentation for us, so she did a PowerPoint presentation, and uh, I was very proud of her. So Jordan, I've known you for several years now. You've loved reptiles the entire time I've known you, so how are you feeling right now? Because it's actually happening. Yeah, I'm really excited, because I never thought it would happen. But when they said I could get one, I was like, yay. <laughs> <laughs> I've had to save up to get Theormastics and all his accessories. So I've been saving up through birthdays and through different chores. First thing I said is I don't want mice, I don't want crickets in the house. Um, find something that eats vegetables, and she did. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> you thought you won that battle. The first time I saw Thor, he kind of came to me. He was calm and not feisty, and he also had really cool colors, so I kind of knew that it would be him. So now, you know, we have a Euromastix, and uh, like I said, he's a cool little guy, and looking forward to having him. So this is where we were thinking. It's our favorite room in the house. Um, we'd like to welcome our newest member here, and we can all hang out and just relax, you know? Well, what are some of the ideas you would have uh, for Thor's new home? We love artwork, so we wanted something that was a piece of art. You know, a person would come in through the, the front door and come over to the spot and say, you know, what the heck is that? I don't know, you know, it's a beautiful piece of art. And then they realize it's a terrarium with a lizard in it. What about you, Jordan? It would be cool if there would be a track in the cage so he can run. So he can train? Yeah. I do triathlons, which is swimming, biking, and running. Jordan's been a triathlete since uh, she was about eight years old. I just love racing, and I love the sport, and I hope to go to the Olympics. I'm very competitive. We could definitely work with, uh, with a track and, and a sports theme, for sure. Hey, Thor, what do you think of that idea? He likes it. I think we can come up with something amazing for you. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. Thank you for bringing him. It's great to see him. Yeah, thanks, guys. That's awesome. So we're working on the hide for Jordan's Euromastix lizard. A Euromastix lizards in nature are prey for pretty much everything. So birds, foxes, any kind of predator in the area would see them as food. So they typically will find real tight areas to hide. They can wedge themselves in so they can't get pulled out, and they use that tail to protect the area or swing as a weapon if needed, so a little spiky tail. The hide's a really cool feature we put in here. It ties into the theme where Jordan's this elite athlete. It, it mimics the metal podium, so we got sort of the gold, silver, and bronze areas. We've got basking spot up there, so we've got that divided up to give nice, tight hiding spots for the Euromastics. I'm just putting the finishing touches on the Bentwood base for the enclosure. Most of the terrariums that we build are ultimately rectangular. We wanted to go in a bit of a different direction with Jordans and uh, mimic the modern architecture that they have throughout the whole house. We wanted to do something a little bit different with the base of the enclosure. So we went with the uh, bent wood structure. And essentially, it's just a steamed laminate piece that gets bent to make more of an architectural feature. I'm just spray painting the base to give it a brushed metal look. After that, we just come along with a dry brush and touch it up, make it look like it's really brushed steel. All right, ready to haul it in. Today, we're at Corrado and Jordan's home. We're going to install Thor's new enclosure. That little Euromastix is going to love it. I'm always nervous with these builds. This one's a little bit different, though, because I don't know art, and Corrado is expecting a work of art in his living room. Um, I want to silicone that front panel, just the verticals. Yeah. Thor's a Euromastix, and they need a lot of heat. So we've got him the highest wattage bulb that we could, and it'll get those basking temperatures to exactly what he needs. We're using black sand here because it should help retain the heat a lot better than just a standard, like, brown play sand. We're putting this uh, sand around the outside. It sort of has dual purpose. Jordan does track, so it sort of gives the aspect of running around a track, but also the middle sand will get heated up more, but the outside gives him a chance to be able to thermoregulate and have cool areas as well. 
He's got platforms so he can pick where he wants to bask, whether he wants to be really hot or a little bit cooler. Lots of slate to climb around on and uh, great food dishes for him to enjoy his, his dinner and his snacks of seats. I just can't wait to get in there and have a look at it and see what uh, Greg and Jason cooked up for us. Come on up. Whoa. Wow. Thor's finally home. Wow. I did not expect yeah, that. No. <laughs> That's awesome. Totally shocked. Oh, look at Thor, he's right on top. <laughs> When I saw that look on Jordan's face, my heart just soared. She just looked immediately so impressed and happy, and that made me happy. You know what that is right there? What? That time, that's from your Calgary race. Your, oh, fast, really? your fastest time, 39, 33.6. I love triathlon. Seeing the time on the cage is really cool because I'm encouraged to beat my time now. It totally fits in with the concrete. Yeah. You guys have a very modern, contemporary home. So we tried to mimic that as much as possible, but we want to tie in Jordan's love for triathlon. So we shaped this as a metal podium. That's it, you yeah. see that, the podium, that's yeah. right. I'm very happy that they incorporated my vision as well as my daughter's vision. It's, it's amazing that you can turn an art piece that has a sports theme like that and you don't even know it. The Urmastics really love to hide in, in very tight spaces, so he'll be able to burrow down a little bit and hide underneath all the slate. The nice thing with the metal podium on the inside, there's actually built-in hides underneath, so he could hide in the back as well. Oh, perfect. So it, it totally suits his environment, and that's amazing. The lighting was key for us. You have very cool lighting in your kitchen, so we tried to match that as closely as possible. Oh, well, you guys are smart. <laughs> that was pretty impressive. We've picked a light bulb that has the UV output as well as the heat bulb, so we're able to get an all-in-one bulb for this build. It looks like it's a chandelier going into Thor's mansion there. That's going to be the hottest spot. I mean, you can see he's flattened out he's there. Flat out. He's going to take in that sun as much as possible. I think all my terrariums are a work of art, but in a totally different sense of what we've created on this build. It, it was amazing that he reacted the way he did. Are you going to even mention there's a lizard, or are you going to wait for them to notice? Well, you know him? what? That's, that's the cool part. I hope, I'm going to let them be and see, figure out what, what the heck is that, and then they go, whoa, whoa. Wow. Yeah, you guys did amazing. Yeah. Thor looks so happy in his new home because he can burrow, he can stay warm and run around, and he's got the best room in the house. Thank you so You're much. You're very welcome. Thanks, Jason. Awesome job, guys. Thank you. You guys did a brilliant job. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. I love it, I think.